Hi friends, I'm Beth and welcome back to my channel where we 50 plus women work together to stay relevant, to stay visible and to stay in the game. And if you're interested in joining the 50 plus beauty family and doing the same thing, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and or share it with a friend. Okay, today I have something really exciting for you. It's the first kind of fashion show I've done in quite a while. And this is an Amazon fashion show. It's not sponsored, but I do love Amazon. It is sweaters and jewelry. This jewelry is just something I had. That was not from Amazon, but all through the video, I'll be showing you some great jewelry that I found on Amazon. But we'll start with this sweater. And this is really kind of a fun sweater and I have it tucked. I'll take it out so you can see what it looks like. But basically it comes in a zillion different colors. I'll show it in red later in the video, but it is just a glammy, glammy fun sweater. This is in a cobalt blue color and it has little hand sewn on pearls. And someone in the reviews commented that every single one of these is sewed on by hand. So they really should be durable and they should last. And that's how that sweater looks. It comes just about below your hip bone, maybe about three inches below your hip bone. But I really do like this for a special evening out. It is not scratchy, it feels very comfortable. The color is wonderful. And as I'm going through these sweaters, I hope you will make a note of your favorites and let me know in the comment section because that kind of lets me know your style and the types of clothing that you are looking for in my future videos. Okay, this is a little cow print sweater. I don't have my shoes on because I don't want to make noise. Normally I would wear heels with this, but you could wear flats with it too. It is a wonderful quality little Amazon sweater, the gray and white cow print. It comes in a lot of different colors. In fact, I'll show you another one that I ordered. And I love it because it basically covers all of the kind of bad real estate that you want to be covered. Even I, because I'm kind of skinny lately, but even I don't like to show the butt and the stomach and all of that. This would be great with leggings and it's great with these Levi 724 straight jeans. And in these videos, I'll be wearing two different pairs of jeans, a black one and a natural one. And I won't really be mentioning the jeans anymore, but they are linked below the video. And in addition to this kind of great sweater, I love this sweater, I also got some wonderful jewelry in silver tone from Amazon. And this is a set here. And I just thought that was so pretty and it is adjustable. You can make it a little longer if you want. And also I got this ring and I love this. And it is in the style of David Yerman. I know that because I used to sell David Yerman on eBay. And basically these are also from the same store they seem to be very good quality. I just got them. I think they're beautiful and they are just far enough off of his style to be legal, but they are definitely in the style of David Yerman. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous little David Yerman like knockoffs. I think they're really, really classy. So anyway, that is that little cow print sweater. I really like it. Okay. A striped sweater, and I love these striped sweaters. I have several of them. I'll show it to you a little more up close and personal. I'll stand back though so you can see the length. It again covers all of the good areas there. It's just long enough. It is not a super long tunic length, but it is a very cute kind of perfect length just to look casual, like you're just kind of hanging around the house or going out with friends. And basically I love the fact that it has cream up here because as we get older, I have noticed I really can't wear black by my face anymore, ladies. And I know you've seen videos before where I did that and you're going, oh Beth, please don't, that looks terrible on you. <laughs> and it really is. I could kind of get away with black, even though it's not my color when I was younger and fresher, but now that I'm a little more mature, I really need the help of the cream. I think it just gives you a glow no matter what you're coloring. I think everybody looks good in cream because it kind of flashes the light up on your face it kind of maybe flashes the wrinkles away a little bit because you're getting light flashed up in your face. I have the same jewelry I had on, but I added these Napier earrings and they're a hoop, but they're a longer hoop. They're kind of an oval shape hoop, which I really like. I like things that are long and angular. I have the same bracelets on, but I did want to show you a couple of really cool necklaces. I almost put one of them on with this, but I think it's a little too fancy for this little sweater, but I'll show you how it looks. Isn't that just amazing? I think that is so totally gorgeous. Let me get my hair kind of away there. I think with a little, like a, a pretty fancy black sweater or a blouse of some kind, I think that could be just beautiful. Not so much with this for sure. And then I also bought it in gold and I just think it is so pretty. I love statement necklaces. And to me, 
That is a statement. And I think it was $14 or something, maybe even less. It was a statement for less, which is a really good thing. Okay, this is another version of a striped sweater, but it is slightly different than the one that I just showed you or the one that I showed you before. I love it that it has the black stripe here because it is very slimming. And again, this one is long enough that it can go down over your jeans or over your leggings and cover everything that needs to be covered. I do like the black because it is slimming. And then look at these great sleeves. This one, I don't know if you can see the texture of those sleeves, but it is absolutely just cool. I just think this has a very much of a 60s vibe to it with these interesting kind of bell sleeves. I'm not sure if that's what you call them, but I think it's just darling. I have it with some gold jewelry. This is actually a Ralph Lauren piece from Amazon. It was very reasonable in price, really like that. And these are some of my favorite earrings ever. I bought them twice because I lost one of the first pair. These are Anne Klein gold tone earrings, very reasonable, very classy, kind of understated, but I wear them a lot actually. And this is actually a gold one that I have. And this is another one of those David Yerman alike pieces from that one company that does in the style of David Yerman. And I think that's just beautiful. It looks so real. And if this were real, I know from my own experience, this would be probably $12,000. It's just, it's crazy to spend that kind of money. But anyway, and that is my own ring. So anyway, that is that little stripedy outfit. This one is so cute and so cozy and the sweater is so soft that I think I'll wear it out tonight. Okay, this next sweater is a very classic sweater. It's a navy classic cable knit. It's in the Amazon Essentials line. It's nice and long, which I always buy sweaters, which are not like here because that cuts you off and makes you look fat. I like the sweaters that are a little longer like this. And this is an absolutely beautiful quality looking cable knit. Isn't that lovely? And of course, Amazon has that in a zillion colors. So if you can wear black, that'd be a good one. But if you're like me and you're a spring and you need to stay away from black, maybe it's good too. Okay, let me show it to you one more time and then I'll show you my jewelry. And I have two different earrings on because, and I'll hide this one, this is what you would normally have with something like this. This is a classic herringbone and it is nice and thick and it is like totally covered in gold like 18 times or something. It is from a company called Lifetime Jewelry and if you keep the little tag that they give you with it, if it ever gets black or gets corroded, they will replace it. And I read the reviews and they do. And I think that is just rich and gorgeous. And there are some classic gold earrings to go with it. However, this is what I like uh, because I'm kind of a glammy girl. I don't know that I'd wear it with a cable knit sweater, but I did want to show you these. And these are actually from Nordstrom. These are Karen Sultan, who's a big jewelry designer for Nordstrom. But I think they are so gorgeous. And they are very 80s, 90s reminiscent to me. And I was like that. I'm an 80s, 90s girl. So anyway, this is that classic cable knit sweater. It feels like it's fabulous quality. In fact, of everything I have in my closet that's a cable knit, this seems to outdo it. It just skims you in all the right places. And the cable knit is absolutely perfect. And the color is great. Okay, another striped sweater. And I just think this is so darling because again, it's got the glowy factor in the upper part of the sweater to make you glow. And I really do like that. I like these colors, especially if you're a spring. I know they're kind of fall-like, but the browns and the oranges look really good on someone who is a spring coloring. And I fought that for years, but now I really do like this, this color scheme. I just have it with the straight blue jeans and I have a little bit different jewelry on. These are, I think these are nine West, but they're just little classic gold hoops. And I'm really getting into the classics in terms of jewelry because you can wear them and wear them and nobody ever remembers them, but they do look classic and rich and nice. And then look at this. I love this. This is a little set that, I don't know, I think it was 12 or $13. It's a little gold filled herringbone there. And then just the cutest little baby gold bead necklace. Look at that, absolutely darling. And it looks good together. You could also layer it with other pieces if you really want to go longer. But anyway, there is just a look at a little casual, warm, cozy outfit. It is very soft and I think you get a lot of use out of it. Okay, this is a little brown cardigan and I got a little creative on it. I don't know that most people would do this, but sometimes I like to glam things up. I, I just added a little self belt that I had in my closet, a little leopard belt. And I will show you, I have on the glammy earrings and I just really love those. And the same jewelry I had before. But let me go ahead and take this off and I'll show you the sweater. I think it is just starting like, whoa, <laughs> I made it really tight on myself. 
So here, this is a little cardigan sweater, and I think it is in a beautiful color for springs because the brown is really a good color. It kind of blends in with my dark roots. <laughs> I just have a little white t-shirt on underneath, but this is that sweater and it is nice and long. It covers everything that you want it to cover and you can button it if you want to give it a little more shape in the middle, but I just think it's really, really pretty. And it has a little bit of cable knit on it. The thing that I like about these sweaters is they seem very high end and very detailed. I would buy this at Ann Taylor or Banana and think nothing of it. It's absolutely seemingly great quality. So there is how that one looks, and I'll show it to you next in teal. Okay, this is the last, actually the third of this cardigan sweaters. I really like it. And I will tell you, it does have pockets, but it does not bother me to belt because I think it gives you a little more shape there. I think that's really pretty. The navy is a very good color. And there again is that beautiful cable knit. Very, very pretty. And it goes all the way down the front. Is it in the back? Yeah, I think it's even... No, it is straight up and down. It's got like a vertical cable in the back and then more of a fancy cable in the front. And I have silver jewelry, different hoops on now. And unfortunately, I didn't wear my silver ring. I should have. But I wanted to tell you a little more about this website that has the David Yearman. First, on this link bracelet, this was a little bit long for me on the on the main hoop there. So I just put it up on one hoop above. And so it's very adjustable there. And this website has fabulous David Yerman likes. In fact, it's so good, I may do a, a dedicated video about it, but I've ordered a couple of other bracelets from there, one in yellow, one in silver. And if you like a rich look for not a lot of money, it's truly amazing. Okay, one last look at that cardigan sweater. And again, all of these sweaters come in many, many colors and everything is linked below. Okay, this is the little tan, a darker tan version of the sweater I showed you earlier that cow print sweater, and I think it's darling, and I have it with the black Levi's, and I really do like the straights, and they're high-waisted. Here's a look at this one. I still have the same jewelry on, but I did want to show you some watches that I bought at Amazon, and I can't wear them yet because I'm taking them to my jeweler to have them shortened because they're too big, but look at that gorgeous little thing. I love that. That is an Ann Klein watch, and it was extremely reasonable. I would be wearing it with this outfit, but it is way too big. But isn't that pretty? I'll show that to you. I think it's really, really classy looking. Then I have a little gold watch here, which this is, I can't read it. <laughs> I am so challenged in terms of my, um, my aging eyes, but this little gold watch I thought was very, very nice and very understated, but I like the large, face on it. I really think that's beautiful. I think I'll get a lot of wear out of that. And this one, some of you will love and some of you will hate. I like it because it is a big blingy thing. <laughs> My husband would probably hate it. But anyway, there is that. And that is a very good brand. What is it called? Oh gosh, I cannot see. I will put it in the title, but isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Oh, it is called Invicta. That's the brand, Invicta. And I had the box on the kitchen cabinet the other day on the Center Island, and my son said, ooh, you got an Invicta watch. So apparently that's a good brand. I don't know. But anyway, I think that's really pretty. So anyway, this is the other cow print sweater. Okay, here we go. This is like the cobalt blue sweater, but it is red. And I have it tucked, half tucked, I guess. And it has the beautiful pearl shoulders and it goes clear down the sleeves on both sides. Really, really pretty. It's a very soft sweater, has the feel of cashmere, although it is not cashmere. Just a very, very pretty sweater that would be very nice for kind of a fancy evening out. Well, that was a look at my recent Amazon haul of sweaters and jewelry, and you'll be seeing a lot of these things in upcoming videos because I really, really like them. I need to do a major closet clean out and get rid of some of my old sweaters to replace them with a new. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all the things that help us look and feel our best at 50 plus, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel, click that little bell and or give this video a thumbs up. Okay, at this point in the video, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and I'm not in the camera room with my cards, but I was thinking about faith and how important it is to us in life, especially having gone through all of these recent situations with COVID, the world turned upside down. Some of us were hanging on by a thread. Bless you, all of you who made it through that because it was a trying time. And it was a time where we really needed faith. And at times it was kind of like, where are you, God? 
And, and I'm talking about faith of whatever religion you are. I'm not talking about just my Christian faith. Of course, I really value my Christian faith. But whatever faith you are, I totally respect that. And I hope that all of us who are faith-filled people will really work on that. Because in the second half, it's a time that we can feel alone at different points. And we can feel like maybe there's no one in our corner. But we always have our higher power, depending upon what our religion is. My higher power happens to be Jesus and I was having a period where my faith was kind of distant. I wasn't praying that much. I wasn't really paying that much attention to trying to listen to God's voice in my life. And then I had someone give me a very good piece of advice, and it's something I want to share with all of you, no matter your religion. They said, Beth, you can pray for more faith. In fact, that's one of the best things we can pray for, because as human beings, we tend to doubt, and our faith is not perfect. And I guess that's my thought for the day, because people who have faith, the steady show, it really doesn't matter the religion, but people who have faith are happier, they're healthier, they live longer, and I want that for all of us. So friends, just for today, if we're doubting a little bit or we're feeling far away from our spiritual guidance, then let's just both of us remember that in those times, we can pray to have faith. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video.